All right, guys, uh, here we are um, at the muscle tank. For anybody that was curious about what was going on with the muscles uh, for the pearls that I was gonna start farming, um, I first needed to figure out how to keep these things alive. Um, so that was a task in itself. Um, I did lose three of them. Um, you can't see that many because some of them have buried themselves in the substrate at the bottom. Um, and they're just chilling in here, sticking part of their shell out every now and then filtering this water. Um, so I don't have as much of a filter going on in this little uh, water filtration system. Um, and the muscles are being utilized as a biological filtration uh, uh, mechanism. Um, so they're filtering out the algae that is produced by the fish poop being in the water, the nitrogen that's in there from the fish poop. Um, I do have some other plants in there to help with nitrogen just to make sure that the fish are nice and happy and my fish are nice and happy. Um, there is algae buildup on the wall. There are three snails living in here right now. I think I might get a, another snail. Um, and I don't know if there's like freshwater crustaceans or anything like that. I'll have to look into that. I am new to... to um, maintaining aquariums and things like that look at that guy they move around you can watch them like pop up and, and everything like that as they come out coming in and out through the day um, but yeah the snails are working on eating algae off of the glass um, the algae doesn't seem to be bothering the fish much at all um, my son really wanted to put this this toy in there i don't really I didn't necessarily want to put anything that wasn't organic in there but um he really wanted to do that um, so we got, we just got some rocks in there, some wood in there, um, and, uh, trying to just create some kind of natural environment and then just make this all homogenous and so far so good. Um, so I think that sometime soon, now that I figured out how to keep them alive, you can see another one buried right there. You can see part of the shell. Um, but I think now that I figured out how to keep them alive, what I'm going to do is, uh, introduce the ear tank probably in the next week or so, um, and see if we can get these pearls started. Um, so... Thanks for uh, tuning in. Um, I hope that we can figure out something really cool. And I think it'd be really, really amazing if we could uh, uh, start growing pearls at home. You know, I think that's the, that, that would be ideal. So, um, you know, as always, I uh, hope you guys can take this information and utilize it to better yourselves and better your community. Mush love. Let's grow.